Hey guys, so sup? My name is Amit. I hope you all are doing good and uh, welcome to my channel and intention to do. It's been a long time since I made a video, like almost six to seven months. I could not make a video because was busy with some other works, and uh, so finally I thought of creating uh, or making videos once again. Uh, because you know, one of my friend who motivated me or rather asked me to start making videos once again, and uh, so you know, I thought of starting it once again on some time out of my busy schedule to do it once again. So uh, after this, uh, you know. Uh, Basically, this time it's not gonna be the same videos which I used to make for Excel and other stuff. So this time I thought of making videos for uh, iPhones, anything related to an iOS, which is an iPhone operating system. Uh, first of all, let me tell you that I basically use an Android phone, and uh, many of my friends who use iPhone, uh, they ask me to start making videos on uh, iPhone because because there are lots of things in iPhones to uh, know which most other people uh, don't know how to do it so um, so uh, actually one of my friends also works for Apple so uh, I, I just spend a lot of time with him uh, learning about Apple products and Apple things uh, and basically about the iPhones and I also uh, borrowed an iPhone from him so that I can review it and uh, uh, for, for review it for myself and I could learn more about iPhones so that I can start creating a video so here we are so the first thing, the first video which I'm gonna make here would be uh, for iPhones and for that it will be uh, the first topic in iPhone uh, for any iPhone users for the first use, first time users like me in that if you buy an iPhone the first thing that you need to do on an iPhone would be creating an Apple ID and uh, creating an Apple ID those who all know it's very simple but those who all don't know uh, I'm, uh, this video is for you guys and let me tell you one more thing over here there are people who know to create video uh, create an Apple ID uh, but and they don't know how to create an Apple ID without adding their payment information because most of the time you don't have debit cards or credit card or you know any, any kind of payment information with you so uh, you, you actually mess up with the Apple ID so I'm gonna talk about Apple ID in my first video so it's going to be how to create an Apple ID and that too without adding any of your payment information in it so uh, let's start okay guys so here we are and uh First of all, in this case, since I said you that uh, we are gonna create the uh, Apple ID without the payment information, so for that uh, uh, there are two ways to create an Apple ID, and one of the way is with the help of your computer or your Mac, and uh, for to 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 do it in your computer or in your Mac, you should have iTunes installed on your computer. There's an application called iTunes, which you need to install on your PCs on on Windows computer, and if you are a Mac user. Uh, iTunes is pre-installed on Macs. So here, what you need to do is first of all, you'll have to download iTunes, uh, and I'll share the link in the description from where you can download iTunes for Windows. And once it is downloaded, you need to install it. And once you have installed it, you just need to open that from your desktop like this. I've just opened it. I've already opened that. So you need to open iTunes and make sure once you have opened the iTunes, you see different tabs here, library, updates and app store. Make sure app store is selected over there. And from the drop, drop down here, make sure apps is selected over here. You need to select on apps. Once you select on apps, you'll see a list of applications over here. In case if you're not, you can search for any application. For example, if you see I have searched for UC browser and the first application shows is UC browser. So what you'll have to do is you need to uh, cl basically it should be any free application uh, just for the sake of uh, creating this application we need to uh, search for any application and then uh, what we'll have to do is we will have to click on that application so that uh, we can uh, download it so anyways you're not downloading but uh, just to create this Apple ID we have to do this so click on I UC browser and there you have an option called get you need to click on that get so here I do, once you okay, click on get, you get this new window opens and where you see an option called create new Apple ID in the bottom. If you have already have an Apple ID password, you can just sign in and download once you have downloaded, once you have created an Apple ID. If you don't, you need to click on create new Apple ID and uh, you just need to wait for some time. And there comes a new store, you need to click on continue here. I'll click continue and then you need to click uh, agree the terms and conditions here. If you want to read, you can set and read and then agree. 
I'll just click on I've read and agreed and I'll click and go click on tap on agree here and uh, once you click on agree you see a new page here I'll explain you what is this what you need to do here and uh, so it's asking for provide your Apple ID details so you need to enter the email address over here so while creating an Apple ID make sure that you have a new email address which was never ever used as an Apple ID before so it should be a new email address you need to enter the email address over there then you need to enter the password over there verify the password the second question is answer the security questions make sure you answer them very correctly and choose them very wisely and remember them the third option here you see as optional rescue mail you need to enter the rescue mail as well uh, if you have any email address apart from the one that you're using as an Apple ID so that in future in case if you forget your password the security questions and rescue mail will help you to reset your password once again or uh, you can just know, make a note of it somewhere if you if you if you tend to forget it then you need to enter your date of birth correct date of birth and uh, that's it you need to click on click on continue I'll pause the video for some time while I fill up the details and uh, then I'll click on continue here so yes I have filled up the details here now I'll click on continue now so once you click on continue uh, it will take you to a new page called provide a payment method so you see Visa, Mastercard, uh, Amex and none make sure you select none over there and the next option is to redeem a code or gift certificate nobody will have it but if you have you can go ahead and enter that in case if you don't just leave it blank and there comes a billing address which is mandatory you need to fill up first you need to select your title over there then enter your name and address and state your phone number everything and then you need to click on create apple id at the right bottom corner so i'll pause the video again for some time while i fill up the details and then click on create apple id so I fill up the details now and uh, I clicked on create Apple ID and there you see a new page now which is verify your Apple ID and uh, which says a verification email has been sent to admission02 at gmail.com whatever email address you would have used you just need to click on OK after that or uh, you just need to sign into the same email address I have already signed into that mail uh, as you see here I have already signed into that email address and I have received a mail from Apple called verify your Apple ID just open that mail and there you see a link called verify now it says that uh, to verify this email address that belongs to you you need to click on that link I've clicked on that link and it will take you to a new page of apple.com where it will ask you to enter the password for your Apple ID that you just created so I enter the password now and then I click on continue again so after you click on continue uh, it will say verified email address email address is already verified there's a green check mark which says that your Apple ID is ready to be used okay and uh, it also show, uh, gives you an option what to rescue email address that you would have set so make sure that you remember your password and security questions uh, because an Apple ID basically people forget their uh, password and they will not be able to reset the password if they don't remember the security answers and the or the rescue email address so as I said in the beginning choose them very wisely and that's it once the Apple ID is created you can use this Apple ID to sign in into your phone and you need to go to the settings of your phone there you have an option called iTunes and App Store and there you just need to sign in with your Apple ID once you have signed in you can go to the App Store and download any application that you want you can also use this Apple ID in in your computer in your Mac or you know iTunes oops just a second okay so you can use this in in your Mac in iTunes as well to download applications from there as well so basically this is how you create an Apple ID without so thank you so much for watching the video guys I hope this video is gonna help a lot of you people and in case if you have any doubts or queries regarding this please comment it down and I will reply back to those and uh, please don't forget to like share and subscribe because this is gonna help me that's gonna help me in improving myself in a lot of ways and uh, till I make a new video, keep smiling. My name is Amit. Peace out.